Hello everybody, this is the second video for section uh, 3.4, talking about the definition of a derivative. Uh, in the first video was just the notes and the concept, the idea of, of what a derivative is and relating it to what we were talking about with the average rate of change and the instantaneous rate of change. So, just as a reminder, the derivative, it is a function that tells us the slope of the tangent line at a certain x value. It's the function that tells us that instantaneous rate of change at a certain x value. So, the definition in this question, this is a different example than what I did in class, just so you have another example you can look at. Um, to find the derivative of this function, okay, the derivative notation is this f prime of x equals. We're taking the limit as h approaches 0, and we're going to do f of x plus h minus f of x, all of this is over h. So when we plug in x plus h into our function, anywhere there's an x, plug in x plus h. So we're going to have x plus h squared plus 6 times x plus h plus 5. And then we are subtracting, and use parentheses to avoid any kind of simple mistakes, uh, we are subtracting f of x, which is the entire function, all three terms. All of this is over h. Oops. So now, this limit just sits out there for a little while. x plus h, when you square that, x squared plus 2xh. I don't know why that's not showing up very well here. Uh, 2xh plus h squared. Distribute the 6, so plus 6x plus 6h. We got a plus 5, and we are subtracting each of those terms. So minus x squared, minus 6x, minus 5, all over h. Okay? We're going to have some like terms here. x squared, minus x squared, uh, 6x, minus 6x, plus 5, minus 5. Those all cancel each other out. So now, we're looking at the limit as h approaches 0 of 2xh plus h squared, plus 6h. All of this is over h. Okay, if we try to take the limit, we're still getting 0 over 0. So, common factor of h in all three terms in the numerator. Factor that out. It will cancel out with the factor of h in the denominator, so we get 2x plus h plus 6. Now you take the limit as h approaches 0, and what we get is 2x plus 6. Okay, that is the derivative. That is the function that will tell us the slope of the tangent line at a certain x value. Now, this question wants us to evaluate f prime of negative 3. So what that's asking is, what is the slope of that tangent line uh, to this function at an x value of negative 3? All right, so we plug in negative 3 into f prime, and we get 2 times negative 3 plus 6. Negative th or that's negative 6 plus 6, we're looking at 0. Okay, so this is the slope of the tangent line at an x value of negative 3. Um, and so this is kind of the same thing as what happened in class. We have um, a quadratic function. The vertex of this function is, uh, if you do negative b over 2a, that's negative 6 over 2 times 1. We're looking at a vertex at x equals negative 3. Now, when you plug in negative 3, we're going to get uh, 9 minus 18. So negative 9 uh, plus 5, we're looking at a negative 4. So our vertex is at the point negative 3, negative 4. Okay. When we graph this, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, there is our vertex. The parabola is a positive x squared, so it's opening upwards. So something like this is where the graph is. If we draw in the tangent line at this x value, it is a horizontal line going through or just touching at that vertex. Horizontal lines have a slope of 0 which is what the derivative told us, okay? So this is the idea of how to apply this definition of a derivative. 
our derivative was this equation. The derivative is a function that tells us the slope of the tangent line, tells us the instantaneous rate of change when we plug in a certain x value. Okay, so that's, that's the idea of these problems. Um, that's it. Have a good night.